Hello everyone. In this video session, I am going to practically demonstrate a Java program to print the number pyramid. So the number pyramid should look like this. We need to write a Java program to print this kind of number pyramid. Let me explain more about this number pyramid. So here is the number pyramid. As you can observe, there are five rows in this given pyramid that we need to build using Java program. There are five rows, first row, second row, third row, fourth row, fifth row, right? And if you clearly observe in the first row, there are one, two, three, four, five spaces. Then in the second row, there are one, two, three, four spaces. In the third row, there are one, two, three spaces. Fifth row, one and, sorry, fourth row, one and two, and fifth row, only one space. So we have to also print the spaces here. Before printing this uh, numbers in the number pyramid, we have to print the spaces. We have to write a Java logic in such a way that we have to also print this kind of spaces. And that too, five spaces in the first row, four, space, four spaces in the second row, three in the third row, two in the fourth row, and one in the fifth row. And one more thing here, you see, uh, if there is a one element, it will be zero. The, if, if there are two elements in a row, there, it will be like zero and one. Three elements, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, three, zero, one, two, three, four. Fine. And also, there are some spaces, guys. You see, after zero, there is a space and then one. And here also, after zero, there is a space. After one, there is a space. So we have to consider all these things in order to write the Java program. So let's get started writing this program. First of all, we'll start considering the number of rows. One, two, three, four, five. So I will create a for loop like this. For int i is equal to zero, zero at the index i less than five. That means how many rows, guys? Starting from zero, less than five means up to four. Zero, one, two, you can see here. Zero, one, two, three, four. That will be enough to print the five rows. Zero to four will be enough. So i is equal to zero, i less than five, i plus plus. And uh, inside the for loop, as I mentioned already, we need to print the spaces here. In the first row, we need to print one, two, three, four, five. In the second row, we need to print four, three, two, one kind of. So for that, what I will do is, I'll create a for loop. This inner for loop is especially for printing the spaces, guys. Whatever the for loop I'm going to build is especially for printing the spaces. So for int, I will say j is equal to zero. j less than, the number of rows is five. So I'll take five minus this i, I will say, j minus i, then j plus plus. So why I'm taking minus i here, you'll understand. Okay, let me show you what will happen if I say minus i. Number of rows minus i. So here I will print out the spaces system dot out dot print ln. In this print ln, I will take out this ln guys because if you keep ln, it will go to new line. After printing every space, it will go to new line. But here we have to print five spaces in a single line. So we should not have that print ln. Instead, we should have the normal print. And here I will provide the space. Now let's see what will happen. So when i is equal to zero, let's say i is equal to zero. If i is equal to zero. Zero less than five is true. We'll go inside the for loop. Then int j is equal to zero. Now j became zero. Zero less than five minus i is zero, right? So five minus zero is zero less than five. True or false? Yes, true. Zero less than five is true. So we'll go inside this for loop and we'll print the space. First space is printed. Okay. One space is printed. Just for the okay. Just for the recognition, I'm just printing the one. Uh, instead of, uh, I cannot print this, uh, I cannot type the space, right? That's why, otherwise I will type a space like this, okay? For now this will be okay, right? One space will be printed using this print statement, fine. Then J plus plus will happen, J will become one. One less than, one less than five. I will be zero only. So one less than five, true again. So like this, how many times the space will be printed guys? If you can understand this for loop at the high level until the j becomes four. So zero at the time. In the first iteration, j is zero. Then until the j becomes four, this for loop will iterate. So how many times? Zero to four. 
for zero already space got printed then for one two three four total how many spaces one two three four five five spaces got printed already guys in the first iteration of the for loop five spaces got printed now in the second iteration of the for loop how many spaces should be printed only four right so when i becomes i plus plus say i is equal to one one less than five is true we'll go inside this internal for loop will be uh, executed where j will become zero initially j will be zero zero less than this time five minus five minus one that is j less than four so zero one two up to three only is possible right j less than four means up to, only up to three less than four is possible four less than four will be coming out of the for loop so how many spaces guys zero one two three spaces that is four spaces the second iteration four spaces will be printed like that for every increment of this i the number of spaces will be decreased because we are minusing i here hope you understood the logic for printing the spaces so after printing the spaces what we have to do this for loop is meant for printing the spaces apart from printing the spaces we should also do one more thing we have to print the numbers here for that i will create another for loop okay after printing this five spaces in the first row when i is equal to 0 in the first row after printing five spaces what should be printed this zero number should be printed so for that i will be writing the logic guys int you can write k is equal to 0 or you can again say j is equal to 0 is also fine so for differentiation i will say k is equal to 0 k less than or equal to i okay k is equal to 0 k less than or equal to i k plus plus and here i will print system dot out dot instead of print ln again i will remove this uh, new line thing and i will be printing k guys simply k and i will be appending some space to the k after printing the k i will give some space guys because you see in the second row onwards uh, you need to maintain some space between the elements that's the reason after printing any uh, number you have to print some space that's the reason i added a space here okay this will make sense from the second row onwards fine now let's see what will happen after printing five spaces we'll uh, we'll go to this for loop where k is equal to 0 in the first iteration let's say i is equal to 0 right the first iteration i is equal to 0 let's uh, let's focus on this for loop initially k is also 0 so 0 less than or equal to i i is 0 so 0 less than or equal to 0 true right 0 is equal to 0 true so we'll go inside this uh, second for loop where k will be printed what is k guys k is 0 0 with space will be printed like this in the first iteration now when k will become 1 1 less than or equal to 0 will be false and will come out of this for loop simple okay only 0 will be printed in the uh, first iteration of the for loop where when i is equal to 0 only 0 will be printed in the thing okay after five spaces 0 will be printed with a space done the next iteration when i becomes 1 when i becomes 1 how this inner for loop will behave here only four spaces will be printed because 5 minus 1 so four spaces will be printed after printing the four spaces here after printing the four spaces here the second for loop will print the k right so here uh, k is 0 uh, again 0 less than i is 1 now 0 less than 1 is true so we'll go inside and we'll print the k that is 0 so 0 will be printed and after that space also will be printed along with along with k that is 0 space will be printed then k will become 1 1 less than or equal to 1 true again 1 less than or equal to 1 true again so this time we will be printing k we will go inside this for loop and we will be printing k that is 1 so 1 will be printed and along with space after this so for every row of iteration for every iteration of this uh, int i is equal to 0 i is equal to 1 kind of thing we need to put a print ln statement here because after printing zero here we need to go to the new line right again before printing the four spaces we have to go to the new line for that after printing this spaces and k in the first iteration we have to print a space uh, we have to go to the new line then i will be incremented to one then four spaces will be printed and zero one will be printed then again we will go to the new line like that every for every row we have to go to the new line for that reason we have to put a print ln statement here guys otherwise we will not get a proper output So remove all these things. So hope you understood the high-level logic of uh, what I have written here. For five rows, I have written this. For printing the spaces, I have written this. For printing the numbers in the pyramid, I have written this for loop.
now for going to the new line after every row i have i have written this print ln statement so looks like everything is clear now let's run this program and see whether we are getting a proper number pyramid in the output you see we got a proper number pyramid five spaces and zero four spaces zero one three spaces zero one two two spaces zero one two three one space zero one two three four fine so the program is perfectly working fine so hope guys you understood how to write a java program to print the number pyramid so that's it guys thank you bye